Hello dear viewers, today I'm going to play Assemble with Care. First there, I'm going to start Stream Raiders. Yep. Buster! And thanks. Let's start with a Buster. I think that's here. Umber. So Buster is these things. Okay, let's start the game. I hope everything will go well. I have never started it, as usual. How are you guys doing today? Did you recover well from yesterday's 15 hour stream of Wendersong? Hey, are we already starting? Okay. Hi Frosky, how are you doing? You overslept? Oh no. I hope you didn't oversleep something important. Other than that, I hope you had a good sleep. I overslept as well there. Ah, uh, there. This game is best played with sounds. We have sounds going. I hope the sounds are loud enough. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. How I'm doing? I'm doing pretty well. I had a lot of fun yesterday. I slept way too much today. And then I cooked up a storm only a, a, about an hour after I woke up. A storm so good that Fox, when she brought her back her plate, she had cleaned her plate off completely. Like, entirely. And she was like, hmm, I'm stuffed. And then she went streaming. I was so proud. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Tomorrow is back to work. I didn't draw one bit today, so my uh, version 2 Christmas avatar is still not done. And it's almost Christmas. I hope I can get it done during the week so it's ready for Christmas. <laughs> ah, I'm a mess. But yeah, I'm doing wonderful. As my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. That sounds actually like a job for me, but I mean, I'm offering repair services already. People actually have to bring their stuff in, but there's stores that repair stuff everywhere. But its uh, I think it can be a bit uh, finicky when you try to find something that is not in one of the big specific trade areas, like technical repairs. Like the shops I did technical repair on, they did everything that was in any way technical, even cars, as much as we could do. But yeah, when it's not technical, what do you do? <laughs> Imagine what you showed in Discord really made me hungry. Yay! <laughs> I hope you can find something that looks equally or even better as good. Better as good? Or even better. <laughs> uh. Hi, Hiking Mike, how are you doing? Clumsy Saint emote, yay! Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. How's your Monday going, Hiking Mike? It is Monday still. For yeah, it is Monday still for you. If I remember time sounds correctly. Yep. I'm packing. Oh, can I? I can actually do that myself. Yay! Do I do? Yeah, I've already cl um, clicked the suitcase. Yeah. And then? Ah. Clasp. And clasp. Clasp. 
<laughs> you just finished working on your 40k minis. Very cold. You're very cold. I'm still waiting for the snow. I think Christmas is gonna be dry this year or maybe a bit rainy. Really sad we had snow for uh, a few weeks ago. Like really heavy snow for a few days and now there's nothing again. I hate it. I want snow, lots of snow. I hope you have not just cold but a beautiful amount of snow and that you can still <laughs> safely travel through to work and from um, back home. No, oh, you have a lot of stuff here. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. <laughs> Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. Scrunchies are awesome. I have a pack of them. My parents took this after I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. Looking forward to taking more close ups of my fingers with this. Fingers? I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed, they get me some work. Hmm, flyers. That must be the passport. Nothing on the passport? Okay. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully, I'm cool enough to pull them off. Hmm. I'd best you're cool enough to take them off. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. Yes, two of them. Yeah. That's the last item. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. <laughs> Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. There's so much talking in this game, I didn't expect that. I have to find something for in-between and make pauses. Of course, I, I really need like to earn it. enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. Yep, yeah, I really like this. I really wish that more people would bring stuff to repair to me, but at the same time I don't have time for it. Do you guys like repair stuff? And again, thank you Mike with your 40k minis. That probably takes a lot of finicky work as well. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I mean, Frisky, you are already technical repairing, right? Yeah, that was our pain to take apart. <laughs> do you like to do it as a hobby too? No, I think I never asked that. Hm. But yeah, laptops are a pain. Although even worse are cell phones, modern cell phones. The old ones are awesome. The new ones, ugh, we had a whole station just for cell phones. Um, actually, mostly smartphones. Um, Specifically, iPhones are the worst. Trying to switch out a screen on an iPhone? Ooh. Not as a hobby? What do you do as a hobby? Next nice repairing. But yeah, yeah, if you do that at work, I can imagine that you don't want to do it in your free time too. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories. Revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Welcome to Bellariva. Achievement. Okay, I guess we've completely finished the first chapter. Are you also tinkering in your free time? Like, Mike, what are you tinkering on? Anything specific or just in general, whatever you can get your hands on? I guess working out counts. I guess that counts, Frisky. Working out does definitely count at something. That can be quite the time sinker and also quite the 
specifying point or a specifying rule in your life because when you work out you don't want to well do the worst stuff ever in the rest of your time so that the working out is completely useless you used to do boxing wait i think we talked about that a while ago Whatever you can find maybe without breaking it. Uh, the breaking part is really important. <laughs> I mostly like technical stuff my repair. First morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. Yeah, it always only looks perfect. There's always something to fix. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Yay, first bit. It was a little girl. Maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. Oh no, cassettes. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. That sucks. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? A metal thing in the way? can start there, I think. Why did you do that? Mm. No. Ah, there How we go. How did you do that? I didn't see. Maybe I should have showed her. But now it's just going well, as it should. Like it goes. I think these are fine actually. You're not taking off the top. Oop. Guess we are going to start here. look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. I wonder if that's actually it. Does have power now. Ah. Now what do we do? Adorable. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. I don't even know how to switch out batteries for about seven years, I guess that's to be expected. But that is adorable. Probably a very important disc for her. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. <laughs> no problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mum. She, she's not here anymore. I guess so. Trailed off. 
It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, kids. I was only switching batteries. I really preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Yep, but she still has a cassette tape. The part I wouldn't be able to fix. The cassette tape that was fixing, or rather switching of batteries, she paid for with a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons and a yo-yo. <laughs> Childhood currency. It's beautiful. Ooh, a figurine! My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. How whole something looks doesn't exactly always influence how beautiful it is. Ruins can be beautiful. The most wonderful new building can be ugly. The front door was opened by a harried looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Oh. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Ah. Uh, he has heavy shoulders, doesn't he? It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Of course. I wonder if you have to glue all the pieces together bit Will by bit. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. I think actually this is this part. Oh. Maybe if I angle it this way. No. It doesn't want me to. This reminds me of the Japanese thing about fixing things with gold. That's a very beautiful thing. I've actually seen uh, a vase, I think it was. I was shattered. And um, it's a Japanese thing, yeah. And it has a beautiful name too. Something with kin in its name because kin is gold in Japanese. And they... Um, I think they lay it into something, some some kind of jelly, and then they pour the metal in, and then they lay something inside so it can just settle. But I'm not sure. I think there's different ways to actually do it depending on what you do it with. But I saw a finished vase, and it was very beautiful, all the shatters and the gold. And um, one of the teachings that they connect with this is that a broken thing can be even more beautiful when you repair it right. And that vase was incredibly beautiful. Although gold is not my color, I'm more of a silver person. But even gold, it looked very beautiful. 
kind of like a spider web, but I think um, I'm only one of a few people that see the beauty in a spider web. <laughs> Hmm. Why do I put them together? Ah, that's a stand. Okay. But yeah, how do I put them together? This like definitely belongs on the stand. Maybe I just have to start with the stand itself. Yep, I have Sometimes to start with the sand. My daughter should come with a warning label. Children. Next should be the torso. Although it's only a piece of it. Training is not easy. Let's do the arm next. I keep accidentally placing it down when I just want to turn it. There we go. Now let's make him whole again. He looks like a sir. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? I probably shouldn't use it as a door stopper, but yes. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As said. Everyone is deserving of time and love from all of their loved ones, even from themselves. Self-care is very important and caring for the near ones even if they do not fill expectations is also very important for both parties. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. How is he not fulfilling the expectations as a mayor? <laughs> I think he's not seeing how much worth he has. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time, but maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. That would be great, especially since she's only seven years old. Statue of Limitations. Not chatter anymore. Disconnect it. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. Mm, I stopped. Coffee breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. <sighs> coffee is so good. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. <laughs> Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. No. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. 
Oh, I'm sure it will pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Seasoning tips. It's fun. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Let's do that. Apparently we already know what's wrong. Interesting to just have the replacement parts there. But let's just start taking it apart. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. She's really having a hard time. It's not easy making your own business. I could never imagine having a cafe. Then again, as a streamer, I already have my own you can't business. Fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. She's so anxious. Oh dear. I think it is right. These connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. I need that one. Disconnect that cable. Not only one thing works, but we don't have any more wire. Oops. does not want to come off. Now we can put it all back together. Those screws still need to be put back. I'm working on it. One by one. There. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, 
She seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. No. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. Nope, that's Dream Raiders. I don't know if I can actually tap out of here. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Ah, she's trying so hard to keep it all together. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? Ah, uh, I have a bad feeling about this. As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sisters decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh, God, I have to get ready. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You can do it, Carmen. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? To fix your broken nerves? Oh my. Okay, let's do stream readers. Ah. Yep. Let's see if we can win this battle. But yeah, oh dear, oh dear. She's such an anxious wreck. I know why I don't want to have something like a little cafe or, you know, be completely dependent on a small business. If given the choice, I would not have made my streaming into a business, but in Germany you are required to. Else you are actually breaking the law if you have the chance to even earn any bit of money and reach more than 100 people. So I had to make it a business. But I will not fully rely on it until it is clear that I can. <laughs> until I have a safety cushion for, well, if it isn't working out. It's just so anxiety inducing. I can certainly feel where Karen is coming from. I would not be able to deal with it. But that also means that Karen is actually Pretty cool. She is still trying. She is still doing her best. And that is awesome. Oh, wow. Look at Frosky and Janice. Massacring them all. Woohoo. <laughs> Frosky is just standing there, so surrounded by snowmen and so just killing them all. That's pretty awesome. I think it's a self heal too that's helping. Holy moly, Frisky. That was awesome. The character is probably a vampire. Oh, battle's not. There we go. Tank. Vampires are awesome. I like vampires. Mine is only level 3, I think. Even on my non-captain uh, version, it's still only a low level. But I love vampires. Just useful in every situation. ESO. Almost all of my characters are vampires. The rest are either humans or rebels. Which is the only two other choices. But... They are only that because it's the most logical situation. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Ooh. Curious, 
I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. Ooh, how frosty. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... <laughs> so this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Yep. Also, kind of explains why Carmen is so anxiety-ridden and tense. I would definitely be highly anxious if Carmen is the way I turned out and my sister turned out Helena. <laughs> Like, what do you do? You have to compare yourself the whole time, right? No, you don't. It's okay to be different, to not be as successful, making air quotes, as your, as your siblings or cousins or anyone else. It's not a competition. If it is a competition, then try to always be the second happiest and make sure that everyone else is the happiest. But never forget yourself. But yeah, I feel you, Carmen. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Let's do it. Wait, mirror layered. I guess the mirror is broken. Woohoo! So, let's open you up. There should be more. Yeah, there's more. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. What do you know? You can see I was here well before her. I could adjust the angle of the mirror. So, uh Wrong direction. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Why do you say a battery there? No, a film. That's a film. I think that should go in here. I have to take the top off. Okay, let's... Put this back on first. Looks like something is still missing. We have to spin it. Does it have to roll through? I've never had a camera before, so I'm not good with cameras. But the few times I saw other people using these old cameras, the film had to spin through. I fixed some a uh, few times, not that I used them though. And they were able to put the film in themselves. I mean, if you use a camera, or used with the old ones, you had to know how to do that, else you wouldn't be able to use it. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. It was worth it. Well, if you earn that much in only three months, it's good. I'm happy for her, but she is very proud of it. I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. Oh, yeah, you're on the same page. <laughs> it was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? 
Maybe there was nowhere better. It's a tiny village, isn't it? Tiny town? I think it's a tiny town. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Ooh. She doesn't like this town one bit, does she? Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. Aww. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. Yep. Yeah. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. I mean, she had no phone. That's probably the reason why she didn't call. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Wait, wasn't that an actual storm that hit a few years back? Hurricane Helena. Uh, lovely. I hope it's going well for them. I hope I see how it's going well for them. In the dark. I guess we're fixing Carmen's shield. Gelatio? It's another coffee, but uh, gelatio? The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. <laughs> it kinda does. Carmen, you got this! Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it! Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. It sure does. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. It's not going well. Carmen led me to a back room where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but ugh, I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. Yep. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? Sure. Sure, let's do it. But she should have definitely tried herself. should go in the back of it. I think I have to glue it. Oh yeah, it goes in, in there. Definitely have to glue it. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing for me to do apparently. Uh, let's just start with the back. Okay, so this is working, and now what? It's supposed to be connected up here. Hmm. 
just slap the stuff on there, see what happens. Flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Ah, now we get something. No, wait, I have to just. Yep, it will be glued on. Now it's glued to the table. Yay! something else maybe we can add one of these oh we get more now okay glue that's why you have a hole there gotcha wait we need to place you away and turn you around I think we are going with the standard one because I don't think that she is serving any cocktails or pizza so yep it works I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set The sign fixed, we had it outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Finally she has a sign. Woohoo! Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Yay! Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Oh no! No, we just put it up! And why? What we're like doing? That, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. I don't like it. 
She doesn't trust her sister to do anything. The first sign, well, the first thing we are doing is getting rid of that sign. You want anything of your own personality? Oh no. Oh no, not gonna happen. Trust people. They'll be able to figure their own way out and if, if they don't, it's better to teach them to ask for help and to force your help and your opinion on them. Because people have some interesting minds. Oh yay! I love fixing fixing these. I actually fixed a few of them while I was working in it the was shop. The day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. <laughs> top secret? It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led Ooh. me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. Beautiful. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. <laughs> I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. Eh, what don't you do? On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Oh no, we gotta fix it. We gotta fix it. Oh no, the screen broke. I think it's... Yeah. It's in shambles! Oh no, what did she do with it? All technology. So beautiful. They're also modular. Actually, can, yeah, I can take a look at this. There's the button. Ooh. No, no. I've just switched something out here. No, I don't. Let you go. No, you go here. I think that's how it went. Oh my! I guess I can't switch out the other board, but that seems to work. Wait a minute. Oops. Oh wait, it's part of this. I guess I can switch out the full thing. So, yep. let's just put in the whole new board. No, you go in. They should be fine. Do grown up 
perhaps play games as well? Yes, yes we do. Pop and play. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. Do I do that with a controller? Uh, let me, let me try. I need my controller for that one. Do you do anything? Okay, controller does not work. Okay, computer, you can do this. You really have to click everything. Oh. That's adorable. I took a picture. Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Why would he think that? Oh. Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. She did break it on purpose. Okay, that explains it, but that's not good. Why did she do that? Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. No. Okay, that explains it. <sighs> With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. It made me think, had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? I don't think any kid does, and I don't think any kid should. You're a kid. If you're a kid, focus on playing, sleeping and eating. That's all a kid should need to do, at least in my heart. Any thinking about why a parent is how they are is just sad. I think there's enough time for that once you've reached teenage years. And a lot more when you've reached adulthood and actually face stuff like that yourself. <laughs> now I think children should not un have to understand their parents. Of course it's nice to have a child that's considerate, but having a carefree child, as long as it doesn't actually do really bad stuff, having a carefree child would be the best. But we aren't living in a perfect world. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Ooh, we are fixing our watch. That's gonna be interesting, I think. Hoo hoo. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. Thank you very much for following Yuki Soul. How are you doing? Are you enjoying the fields? How are you preparing for Christmas? Or what are you celebrating? I hope you're having a wonderful time. And have you ever repaired a watch? I actually have never repaired one. But I did repair um, a, well, a clock, but the big ones for the wall. They are pretty easy to repair, not so tiny parts. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. A lawnmower. She definitely has a power of one. 
<laughs> and probably um, enough destructive force if she wants to. <laughs> Children. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. Ooh, I wonder if he judged Carmen's food already. You've never reported anything in your life. You don't have that ability. It's a very, um, very uh, useful skill to have, but it's not that important. Let's just hope that nothing ever breaks. What do you enjoy to do then, if not repairing? I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. Watch time, watch time. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? I can surely do that. You really like this kind of game. It's actually, I think, my first time I play uh, this type of game. I usually tend to play horror games and other stuff. And you like my voice? That's nice to hear. I hope it makes you all relaxed. Come on. Are you sure it will all fit back together? What else should it do? It's not like it's suddenly growing, so it can't fit anymore. Love always. It must be from Izzy's mother. Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. What the? The cogs look good though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. First, I want to do this. There we go. Yuki, so if you say that you like this type of game, are there any games like this that you could recommend for me? I found this one when I was searching for emotional short games that I could play for Christmas. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Okay, let's see about the corks. Luckily we do have All of these extra pieces. I don't think there's anything on there that we need. You go here. That might work. Would that really work? Hmm. Oops, that's Stream Raiders. Let's quickly do Stream Raiders. I'm forgetting my ad breaks again. <laughs> So after stream where it is a 90 second at break. Are you gonna do that this time? I think we are going to win this. What am I saying this time? We already won the last one too. Because you guys are awesome. Yep. As I said, well done. Nugget Frusky, 19 kills, 1 assist. Woohoo! Well done.
Mm -hmm. going with the upper one. I'm putting down a tank again, right here. And 90 second net break. Now while we wait for the art break to finish, I'm going to do the quests. Oh, snowflakes! So I did another quest. Just have to actually... There. Next I have to get killed. Ooh. And soon I'll have another level 20. Oh well, no, I have four level 19s, so it might be not that soon. Now what can I buy with the snowflakes? There. Wait, we still haven't gone through the full 90 seconds, so I'm just going to accept some of the rewards that I've completely ignored since yesterday. More money! What skin is this? Epic Candy Cane Musketeer. Ooh. I like using Musketeer. So that should be coming in handy. Oh, and that's the 90 seconds. Back in here. I don't really want to use this, but I think I'll have to, because I can't put this one in. It's not big enough. Hmm. We go. Uh, it should actually. Hmm. I think we will have to build that up from here. This is right. Let's see. Schoenfeld Automatic 36. Oh. That was fun. As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Only because you're always busy. But yeah, time flies and oftentimes it's way too short. Sometimes it's way too long. 
can only do the best with what we have. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. Hopefully. Hopefully a warm reminder, not a painful burden. Buddy! The bigger picture! I love these! You could do so many silly things with these. My job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment. The door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. <laughs> she does seem like a warm, a bit chaotic, but warm person. She might not have an organized place, but it's definitely gonna be a welcome one. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out. Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping. As usual. There's oh a market boy. at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. Does she even know that? After all, it's her things. That is never good to do. But it is good that if you see that someone has way too much stuff and they could make use of it, for example selling it, that you talk to them. You maybe poke at it just softly, reminding them that you have all the stuff. How about we try to make money out of it so you can buy stuff that you need now? But it's never good to just do it. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? So we have four replacement parts. I think I'll have to open it up first. Typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. I wonder if it's stuck. Or if it's supposed to be in there. Her favorite slide, maybe. to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. That light bulb is completely smashed. That's probably why she didn't want to give it up there. Nope. Um... This no no no. Ah, this is. I want. To... Yeah, I want to turn this way. Ah no! Damn it! Oh. Okay, I think I need this to be a little bit. No. Not quite. Long. Let me.
Damn it. Oh, it's still in there. I wonder if this is right. Looks like something is still missing. Oh yeah. Hmm, can't take this one off. By the way, playing this kind of reminds me of um, a VR game that I really like. I think you can play it out of VR as well. Disassembly. I'm going to play it as soon as my VR is actually functioning again. Which it currently sadly is not. Because I moved my room so I had to take it off from uh, where I had it before. It was a scr a screwed to my ceiling in my other office. But now that I'm in this room, I don't have it anymore. On, I have, don't have an exit anymore to that roof stuff. And sadly, my automatic screwdriver is broken. So it will still take a while for it to actually be able to be played again. But as soon as I do have VR, I do plan on playing some VR every once in a while. Where does the cable go into? Hmm. Can't be this. Nope, it's not this. That's strange. It's missing. I know, I know. I'm just a doofus in connection. I don't see where I can plug the cable in. Hmm. It can't be here. A few spots that I could think of are taken by the three parts given. So it would have to be on this level. Most likely actually here. But there's no... Connection for a cable up there. Something is still missing, but I don't know what. I just know that I can't connect this to anything and I don't think I have any further parts here. 
Maybe I should just screw it together. Oop. I should make sure I screw everything back together. Yep, maybe this is just it. Hey Bakasura-chan, how are you doing? This might just be actually electricity. Although I doubt it. It doesn't have a cable though. But where do you go? I'm doing quite well. I really enjoyed our 15 hours of Wonder Song yesterday. It's an amazing game. I really like the ending. And currently I'm playing this game and I love repairing, so yay, I love it. Although, this is the first item where I have to think, actually. And I just can't get it. <laughs> what is going on with this item? We used up all of the parts given. And I just can't figure out where this cable goes to. And also, something is plain and simply strange. Here. And how the lights go, so I don't think I actually fixed it just yet. I can't actually interact with the slide. I'm going to take it apart again. Oops. But yeah, I can't actually take the, the slide out. I think it has actually plot. Like, it seems to be a picture of Carmen and her sister in happier days. So maybe that is the reason why I can't just take it off. Repairing stuff is fun. Indeed, indeed. I wish I knew what is wrong with the stereo center box. Oh no! Music stuff is usually what I have the hardest time fixing. Or um, consults. I'm not I'm not good with consults. Hmm. I'm not sure that this is right, to be fair. This part just seems strange. Aha! There we go. It is Carmen. I'm so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. He actually figured it out. I don't know which direction it goes, but it probably goes towards the back. I guess I can try just, whoops, pulling the cable off. There we go. Ah, no, stay on there. Oh. 
That's in no way even broken. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool old sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home, but I was always too busy. Guess it's time to screw this back together. How hideous to hide the clicker from me so I can't actually repair it. But, I mean... I did mess up where the mirror goes, so I never could have repaired it because I attached the mirror wrong. Omnicolor slide projector, yay! With lots of memories attached. That's heavy. Transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I. <sighs> I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Oh. Now you're faced with being the failure. <laughs> which is Carmen, which is been what coming has been for a while now so it must be pretty hard for her to see where her sister is and to be confronted with how worthless she has seen her sister and that her sister is actually not worthless i guess it's also a stroke of luck that she lost her job she can actually see the people around her now <laughs> not just the monetary value Carmen thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. I don't think the checkbook is that important. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I think that's just what you used. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. What if I lose her too? I see a big hug incoming. Not from me, but from Carmen. Ooh, boiling point! I love these gas cookers, they are wonderful for camping. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here. Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the store today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me. 
Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. Out? Hmm. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. Yes. Yes, she is totally going to ask you. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? Oh man. It all fits. Now to light the gas. Yep. The funnest part of it all. There's the torches. the leaves don't actually go in there. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Oh boy. We've got the stock. Water of a carrot? I think that's it. Uh, two Broccoli florets. Handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Okay, that's all I can actually put in there. Um, three white mushrooms. But she doesn't say chopped, so... Oh no, it is chopped. Oh dear. Oh dear, what does this say? Um... Probably butter? I don't think it's onion, but... Hmm. soup I hope it's good my part done Carmen took over and added the finishing touches it was just in time and a moment later Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving that was so tasty can I have some more please yay but you're going to eat a lot today you better not eat so much of that one well you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter we have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Whoa! Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. Let me quickly do stream murders. Yep. 
The next Badlands Dreamers will be the last one. So let's see if we can win them both. That is going pretty well even with all the summons. Oh, Yuki Soul, you've got a little fox as your avatar picture. That is so adorable. And it reminds me of my roommate for Shaky Foxfire. It looks so adorable, sleeping little fox. Do you like foxes a lot? This is safe a fox that I've been watching for a while now. They have the most adorable. Adorable little foxes, and they are so ploofy with the window fur. Well done. Now then, 90 seconds of outbreak. Also, I'm going with this one. Let's get some kills. Now what do we have here? Ooh, mage level 12. Sweet. Yeah, Vampire is very low. Saint is more than Vampire. But that's kind of because I wanted to go for the Saint because Saint, 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 Saint. <laughs> Let's get some snowflakes done. I just got a skin. I got the Frozen Warbeast skin. Nice. Can't wait for the Frozen Saint skin, I hope I get it. Oops. Oh. Let's wait until the ad break is over. You made it yourself? That is amazing, that is really cool, Yukiso. Wait, probably didn't hear that because of outbreak. I'm going to say that again once the outbreak is over. Yeah, there we go. Outbreak is over, so let's get back into the game. And Yuki Sol, you made your picture yourself? That is amazing. I love pixel art and that looked like, like a really good picture, so very well done. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it yes I, I, know, I know I know even when I was a kid she pushed me when no one else did that's good and and bad sometimes but that's good I just wish she hadn't lied to me but then I've asked so much of her over the years I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give relationships are give and take Do you like making pictures, Yuki Sol? Or just some pixel art? Well, just. That's also quite, quite something. You can make so much with pixel art alone. I've recently gotten more and more into drawing, so... Who knows? The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bellariva behind. Oh no. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Ooh. Maria, Maria, my favorite sous chef, come on through. <laughs> it was Carmen acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. 
This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Of course, Carmen. Helena worked through it. Helena just caught the feelsies after seeing the slides. And Carmen had to do a realization trip as well, so... I knew it! I knew it! Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's oh no. debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. She sold her camera. Such an important piece for her. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Of course it does. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Old stuff is so beautifully modular. Okay, that is not the issue. That was the issue. And what else do we have there? If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Where's the speed up? There! Should do it. This record should play beautifully. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. I think I actually have to put them in to see. Oh yeah. This motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Nope. I don't know if the cabling is the issue, but it's probably it. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. How do I check that? I think I'll actually have to put this back on. Accidental nightcore. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. Hmm. On the first glance, I actually do not see any issues. Again, it's been a while since I had stuff like that in my hand. Nope. Once the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. 
There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? I don't think... How do I change the speed dial? Seems fun. That also seems fun. I love that you can take everything apart, even if you do not need to. I need to attack. Yeah, yeah, oops. Wait, here. But I don't think the speed is right. Nope, these are all right. Looks like something is still missing. I mean, I can just put it all back together. It might work, but... The speed, at least for me, it seems off. Maybe it's alright, I don't know the song. The speed was alright. Yep. <laughs> Eda phone, Fidelity. Record player. The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years, inseparable once again. <laughs> Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. It's so beautiful to see just how far they grew, how much they grew. They were confronted with a problem and within days actually solved it. That is very beautiful. These people are wonderful. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. <laughs> seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. Maybe I can make a phone call. The silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Hi. Bridge con patroned. But it's not easy to reach, I guess. When I had lost contact with my mother, we didn't really talk for a long time. But then we just somehow started again. Then again, we never fully broke contact. We just didn't really talk for a while outside of birthdays for the better part of 10 years. We would only call each other on birthdays or visit each other on birthdays rarely though. And one of these birthdays, it was just better than the others and we fully got back into contact. But yeah, sometimes all you need to start building a bridge to lost ones, or rather to lost ones you can't connect to anymore, is just to say hello. My final morning in Bella Riva 
I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. Oh no, the garden! Maybe they can finally spend some time together in the playhouse now. It would have to be clean though, so his neat pants don't get grass stains. You've made quite the impression. Isabel... <laughs> Izzy tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. For example, what I'm doing. Focusing on the hardware of all kinds of computers. That is a full-blown job. In Germany, uh, it's called... Um, gosh. Something about... Uh... Well, we have the software, uh, the the um, app creation or application creation. Yeah, I can't. I can't translate the the hardware part. Um, and basically, it's system integration. But eh. but yeah, in Germany we have them split into. I have the the programmers that usually don't have much idea about the hardware they're using, but are all good on the software. And we have the hardware junkies that know how to fix everything, but can hardly you know, do any programming. And then we have the uh, middle field that is mostly hardware, but is taught in, in some basic programming, some basic software skills, which is what I am. I'm uh, hardware based with, with basic software skills so I could theoretically go everywhere but I will have a way harder time actually fully getting into programming because I have not been taught that completely well I can teach it to myself and if I do you know, the learning uh, school the learning process for application creation uh, I actually can take a shorter training for that one because I already got the other one done. System question is what I wanted to get into. <laughs> Why aren't you getting into it, Bakasura? Not interested after all in, in system integration? I love it. I really do love my job. It's Currently it's not repairing. I have to do a lot of just knowing how the hardware works, what parts to, to, what parts to use to connect and everything. So, sadly, I don't repair as much as I, w as I would like to. I don't have the time for it anyways. I do have some laptops here that I have to still repair. But... I, I love repairing. That's why I took it in the first place. Nobody will take you! Oh no! To be fair, Bakasura, I did not get my, my uh, training for system integration by asking normal companies. I literally asked the office of, office of Employment and they sent me to a mental institute to do my... Uh, well, it's not an actual institute, it's a school for people with mental and physical challenges. And um, I did my training there. It's actually called Rummelsberg. It, it's a full place, but it has multiple stations everywhere. So maybe there's one where you are, though I don't like. I don't uh, know if you'd like to have the stigma that is connected with it, because obviously, if you do come from it, you have to be stupid. Germans are still learning how to be accepting of stuff, but it is possible to do that. It is possible to just keep your applications out and make a name for yourself in other ways while keeping these applications out. Maybe just start helping start repairing getting your name to people and maybe get that job there's lots of companies bigger companies that are always searching for people to work in their computer areas and they are often also willing to help you actually get the training that you want so just apply to work in the it department of some bigger company and then ask 
or even apply for the training from them, ask if that is okay with them. Usually they should be. I mean, they do need fully trained people and what better to employ cheaply than to uh, an actual person that is still in training. People have got their stigma up there behind. I've stopped caring a long time ago. That is good for you, Vakasura. Then maybe you can also try to get into one of the stations of Remote Spark. You will not receive as good as uh, an education, though, as you would outside, because it is very hard for them to find teachers. But yeah, there is definitely still wise, and IT is still in the coming, so I'm pretty optimistic that if you do still want to get into system integration, you have a chance to do that. Maybe if you uh, want to talk about companies that you could apply to, you can write to me in Discord and we can maybe chat about that after my stream. I may be able to recommend someone. Maybe. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Mm -hmm. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. After your stream, I'd be in bed because working in full production makes you get up early. I will not stream much anyway. I mean, any moment now this is over. I think there's two more chapters in total. But you can still talk at any other day. Just keep it in mind and write to me when you have time. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Music box. I had one with um, about five dancers, I think, turning round and round. It was it was really cute, but the actual metal stick in there where the music was on was completely broken. What we could do though was just order a new one and have it made the same way that the other one was made, just obviously unbroken. That was all it took. It was not very cheap because it is not, not that cheap to do. I mean, you can always find a cheaper way, but not always should. But yeah, we just had to order um, a new metal part with all the right engravings in. And then everything was done, we could just use it. Hmm, there's a bird in there. Oops. Oh no. Obviously I have to screw that open. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Oh. I think you have to glue it on. I wouldn't actually glue it in, that's not the way that I would do it. Obviously that's way more secure. Just the legs? Oh, it should not be the legs, the screws are way too big for that. Yep. This mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. I 
it's so handy that they have that part right there but yeah as you can see here this little metal pipe thingy is where the sound comes from it clinks against the little bristles here and the, that planking is actually what's making the sound so this thing being completely messed up is the problem here or the main problem i'd say because you still have more problems That seems to be working fine actually, but let me still... Oh, nope. No, I think I can actually just try to put it together in a way that actually can read everything, so... Got it. it. Actually, is this way? Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Back on with the screws. Reminds me of how inquisitive me and my siblings were. Children are always incredibly inquisitive. That's one of the reasons why I really like repairing is also that I can just always basically play detective and I just love it. It's really sad that we basically get trained to not be as inquisitive. I don't like it and I would rather have a lot more questioning. If I ever do have children, I will probably try to get them to repair with me simply. I think that's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. It's wrong though. Why is the bird the other way around? It's a tiny bird's nest. It is so adorable. No, I can't turn it around. I want to turn it around. It belongs to where it can be seen. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always worked too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Or sit by your side and hold you so tight? Know that I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say good night. That's beautiful. The Fino Dove Nest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suddenly tears. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm way too close to the water at some times. Oh man, that is so adorable. <sighs> I 
We take stuff like music boxes apart, and when we first got a digital camera, we put it in the fridge we're filming to prove that the light turned off. <laughs> that, that sounds like something that children do. <laughs> Sometimes my school teachers were the worst when it comes to that. Yeah. I mean, schools are originally to train you for being a factory worker. And this school system has been outdated for many, many years now. So I really hope that there will be a big overhaul of the whole school system. From what I can see, there's already a huge difference. For example, Fox um, is way younger than I am. And she has had programming classes. Whereas the height of my IT in school was to learn how to write with 10 fingers, which I never learned in school. I learned that by playing and having to chat faster because my keys were needed for actual skills. So yeah. The school has already come a long way, but there are still so many paths to go. We need the inquisitive nature of people because we need uh, people to have ideas and to bring society to new steps. So I really hope that it will actually... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm still crying. <laughs> I hope that it will actually really change with schools, so that we can get a lot more ideas into our society, a lot more ideas from children, and keep the inquisitive minds alive. Being an inquisitive adult has netted me a lot of strange looks, but it is beautiful. I like being me. <laughs> Maybe not my body, but the rest of me. I approve. Okay, let's do stream readers. This will be the last one, apparently. I didn't expect it to go even that long. Whoops. This time I will not do an ad break. And I may start the battle early, because I don't expect to have to the need for another 30 minutes. I'm not sure though. I remember taking apart an RC car I had when I was little. I couldn't get it together, but I had fun. Yay! Yeah, I think you have to test a lot of stuff when you're young just see how it is to for example repair something take it apart see how it works touch everything i'm not a fan of touch everything but you have to touch a lot as a child to just see how it works because most children learn by actually feeling and seeing what it does which is a real problem because that is something that i have always been it has never changed when i grow older and schools are not based on that. They are based on book learning and stuff like that. I'm just that good with that. But if I had a school and I went to vocational school. Also, repairing stuff with kids sounds like a great idea. It teaches them how to figure stuff out for themselves and get stuff and get to doing. Yay! I would definitely do that. I can just imagine that being a fun evening activity, you know? All family coming together to repair stuff. It sounds amazing. If I do say so myself. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will actually be able to get the quest done. It will probably vanish before I start streaming again on Wednesday. But oh well. Last. Yeah. I'm still fully emotional. so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that, especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. Yeah, teenage years. It's when the parents suddenly become very complicated. 
Better to be emotional than not jaded prick, I suppose. I can be very cold, but especially when it's around children, I get very emotional. I'm an idiot like that. But yeah, I can be in general very emotional. I can also be in general very non-emotional. It is very, really, really very subtractional. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. Mm. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I'm so glad to have them back. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. Thank you for the music. Now, what are we going to fix? For ourselves? My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop, the day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them to apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. Stealing a suitcase. It can be pretty expensive, but not good. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Am I going to stuff out. Dinosaur. Is that a bee costume? Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. <laughs> Aww. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Maybe. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. I mean, it's a train, right? It takes a while. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. Yay! <laughs> a worthy trade. Soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. Elena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. And they've done a, an amazing job communicating as well. It was only possible because they actually talked about their issues at some point. So that the other one actually had some time to feel through it. 
Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They both grew a lot. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? Studio something. <laughs> that was sweet. And now for the epilogue. A coffee machine! Coffee, coffee! I was gonna say, oh, a shower, but it's been two hours already. Indeed! I'm so surprised! Dear Maria, come in here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. If not for streamers, I would not have noticed that it's already been two and a half hours. But definitely a short, sweet game. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. But it made me a little emotional. Beautiful game. You should. You should, Yuki Soul. It's healthy. It's beautiful. Just feel it. Hi there, Brain and Kenny. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Ooh. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. <laughs> it certainly made the customer smile. Fluorescent green bowling shirts. Oh my. Helena has really grown because I don't think that counts as fashion. Not even for me. And I really have no sense of clothing at all. How are you doing, Kenny? I hope you had a wonderful time and... You are here, coming here to the epilogue of this game, but it's still a very sweet game. She misses the city though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. Ooh, coffee shapes coming to Bellariva. I've never had a coffee with a shape on it. You were sick? Oh no, you caught a cold. I hope you will get healthy soon and take your time and rest well. Better having a cold now than <laughs> just working through it and having something much worse later. Um, I speak from experience, by the way. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Oh, is she gonna make a coffee with a leaf? Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. She tried it herself. Woohoo! But they usually are very in, um, very easy to put together. Very intuitional. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy million times like five Ooh. these pipes look pretty simple i should start with them i'm doing pretty good i really like this game it's very very sweet
That steam doesn't look good. There must be something wrong with the pipes. That looks better. Hee <laughs> hee. We're getting there. Where's this? something. Where do you go? Oh my. Oh. I found your home, I think. No? Not your home. It, it looks homey though. There's no glue here either. Really craving something sweet. I did too, after cooking so much meat today, I just had to grab uh, some sweet before I started streaming. Also, I boops you from Foxy. Boops from Foxy? Who knows? Who knows? How could I boops her back later? Oh, this is home. Nah, this is home. No, to connect it all. Um, ah, finally, no more steam. Whoops. Wait. It doesn't show. Oh no. Let's just uh, this and this and that's all right. I did the pipes Finally, first. No more steam. I just keep accidentally ripping them apart. So one is to this. There. Two is to the cup. Yeah, two us to the cup. To the cup. Cup, 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 cup. Cup, 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 cup. Goes here. Ha! No releasing the steam. No, no. No. It's all sad that this is the most interesting, actually, from all of them, and it's in the epilogue. But it at least exists.
I have to say, Carmen did really good, considering that she didn't even put a sign together. She came a long way. Okay. Are all of these parts supposed to go in there? Yes, yes they are. Do I have to do this before? Oh well. I guess it can't hurt to do it that way. Now this can go here. I definitely want to play this assembly. I also have PC building simulator, which I've never played. I think that's everything. Better test the buttons just to make sure. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Oh boy. Freshly brewed coffee. Don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. How do they do this? Damn it, the always keeps starting to pour so late. This coffee is 99% milk. How about just hearts? Is that enough? Mm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favorite biscuits. There's a heart in there. That's perfect. Anything else, so there's a heart in it. <laughs> oh, Kenny, Trusky, that is so adorable. <laughs> I was feeling more has been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm -mm postmodern but knowing helena's refined tastes i hope she'd think it was intentional <laughs> always the connoisseur she didn't even bother to look at it at first she was so busy wafting it under her nose steamed up her glasses of course how was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog she doesn't nope when she finally spotted it though she was totally impressed oh I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. Hey, she the heart was easy to see. It was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. It was a heart. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. The coffee stuff is harder. I... Definitely would not be able to draw any shapes in coffee. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never! <laughs> Hoping you're well. 
your friend, Carl. Adorable. This makes me so happy. Well, this is it. Let's see how fast streamer this is. This is it. This was an adorable game. A wonderful game. Really emotional. And quite a bit of fiddling. Perfect. It really made me crave uh, one more game that I know has to do with disassembling stuff. Not assembling, disassembling. I think there's also um, the opposite of it as a game, so I have to look around for that. But yeah, I want to play very more of that. Puzzling is one thing, but Repairing machines is just so beautiful and so way more up my alley. <laughs> now, since I still have to kill a few minutes, are there any games that you guys would like to see on Christmas? I already have Before Your Eyes in my list. I already have it actually downloaded and bought. Just have to try it beforehand so there is no issue with the camera. But it will probably not allow me to have my V-Ride avatar. Because I only have one camera and apparently you can't really split them up. Uh, maybe I'll figure out how to do the virtual camera thing so I can use my... Oops. Ow. Cat. My webcam for both programs, v and the um, eye-tracking camera of... of uh, before one's eyes, but I'll have to see how I will do that. Other than that, I do plan to make a special Christmas stream, so maybe it is not going to be Foxhole and then Before Your Eyes and something else. I will have to see, because I actually want to spend some time with Fox in-game, make it special, but you'll have to find with what first, and I can't really think of anything right now. So if there's any games that you guys would like to us to play together on Christmas, please let us know so we can actually plan around with that. I mean, we still have four days, but we only have four days now. What's up, Callahan? Huh? Are you okay? Apparently, happy greetings from Callahan. She is totally nope. super cuddly right now. Nope. No game recommendations or requests? Oh no! Well, we figure something out. We always do, don't we? Worst case, we will just have a normal team stream and make it special simply by being together. That's always something we can do. Callahan, you wanna purr for the others to hear? <laughs> You have such big girl purrs now, that is so amazing. You've grown so much since I got you, hmm? You... You always lick my fingers and I don't know why. Cat reads. Hmm? I can't quite go there right now, can I? Oh, You look like you're going to fall asleep in my arms, huh? I have something to wake you up. Mm. Oh, sweetie. Mm. Yeah. So, let me grab that something. Yes, yes. Whoops. No. Face out of the drawer. There we go, cat snacks! <laughs> no. You can't have the whole bag, no, no. <laughs> ah. Where'd that go? Look here. More 
I have to bring some to Sammy as well. Have some more? Yep, yep. You can have them all. The last four are going to be for Sammy. Yes, look here. More. <laughs> Crazy little kittens. You know what you can do? Ah, don't bite my fingers. But you can lick the crumbs of them. You cannot eat my fingers, that's not going to work. <laughs> Stop biting my fingers. Come here, sweetie. Mm -hmm. You're gonna try and bite my fingers again? Mm -hmm. I will cuddle you first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much for the cat treats. Whoop. There's a cat going crazy after having received some treats, and there must be more. Uh, thank you very much. They were well received. By Sotha Seal and Callahan, they were both here. Sel uh, Sammy will receive his uh, after the stream. I will bring them to his room. He still doesn't like to mingle with the kittens. Always think of the kittens. We actually got the kittens quite some Christmas presents. We still have to actually put them up. And we will not put them up before the 24th. So, on the 24th, before we start the special stream, you will see pictures of something that we bought for the kittens. I have never had a cat tree, for example. <laughs> not for example. Uh, we bought a cat tree. Oh no, what are you doing? No, no. You know there's a big enter button in there and if you step on it, then everything will go to ham. What are you doing? Don't, don't do it. Out you go. That's a snack shelf. Not the kitten shelf, it's a snack shelf. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, my very first ever cat tree will be built on the 24th and will be for the kittens and Sammy. And I also have a bag of, of cat toys. I can't wait for it. So, while we are still waiting for the last few seconds to go down, let's see who we are going to raid after this. I don't think anyone is playing that game, so... Hmm. What do we have? What do we have? Callahan? What you doing? I could send you guys to Serencia to enjoy some more Escape from Tarkov. Would you guys like that? Let's see if we can win this battle first. I really like, like Escape from Tarkov and I hope that soon I will be able to buy the game myself and actually start playing, but it's a really t really heavy time sinking one. So I definitely will have to uh, probably plan ahead f and just have at least one specific day a week where I focus on that game. Hey there, Sammy. What's up, Sammy? I can't give you your snacks here right now, but I guess you came out of your room because you heard them. We'll give you a snack in a bit when the kittens can reach there. I love you, Sammy. I love you, Sammy. He's not very happy. If he would have showed up earlier, I would have given him the snacks as well with the kittens, because if I keep them apart, it's possible. <laughs> Let's see if he can do this. It's already done with, with enemy summoning, so that should be doable. Yep, that's easily doable. Especially with Frosky being there, just killing everyone. Holy moly. You had fun watching again? That is sweet of you to say. Thank you. 
I will have a good night and I hope you will have a good night too. After having a good day. And we did it! Very well done, guys. So, let's raid Sirancia. Wait, no, that is not okay anymore. Sirencia has stopped streaming in the few minutes seconds that we were actually uh, doing stream raiders. I have to find someone else again. Oh no. Who are we going to find now? Ah! Someone else is now streaming that I can see. We all know Duri, so playing Foxhole, we are now going to raid Duri. I hope that you guys enjoyed your time with me today. I had a lot of fun playing Assembly with Kyra. It was a very emotional, very short game and still took me three hours to get through. Well, almost three hours, but we did talk a lot as well. You can take a lot of lessons from this short game, so really beautiful, well made. Thank you very much for being here with me today and I hope that you all enjoyed it and are going to enjoy your time with Dory. We know Dory from Foxhall, we have played with him before, we have raided each other, so you all should know him hopefully as well and I hope that you are going to enjoy him. Thank you very much for being here with me today. I hope that you are going to treat yourself with love, kindness and respect tomorrow and today and on Wednesday until I can shower you with a little bit of more care and failure. I hope you have a wonderful pre-Christmas time and that I will see you on Wednesday when I play some more ESO. Soon I will get Final Fantasy but currently the servers have too much issue to bother buying it so it still has to wait a little bit. Stay awesome guys, stay healthy. Take a little bit of care of yourself because you're worth it. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye.